Nou, dames en heren, we zijn vandaag uh, zijn nu bij, uh, bij een stukje van de oude blijze muur. Vandaag gaan wij een, uh, een tocht doen langs allemaal urban street art. We worden er zo meteen meegenomen door Berlijn. En uh, dat schijnt allemaal heel gaaf te zijn. Ik ben uh, heel erg benieuwd. Zijn jullie ook benieuwd? Follow me. <laughs> This piece is, has been commissioned, basically. And yeah, you're very right. The main reason is of, uh, the size of it, right? Um, it's very difficult to kind of paint something illegally without getting busted that is this big. This actually took four, uh, four days to paint. Um, <laughs> and the other reason you can kind of tell is also the, just the detail, which is again part of the time, time element. Um, so yeah, this, has been, this is the work of an artist called Blue. Blue is an Italian street artist from Bologna. Some of you guys might have heard of him. Um, and he is very into sending political messages through his art. So you'll often have something to kind of, there'll be a puzzle there or some clues as to what he's trying to say in his pieces. Alaniz, A-L-A-N-I-Z. Imagine the pen is like one meter long and you're holding it at the fast, at the back end and you're trying to write or draw something. It's going to be very difficult to have any kind of good level of dexterity, right? So if you take that concept and make it even bigger, that's basically what he's doing. So he's like, he's going to be wobbling all over the place, paint's going to be going everywhere. It's quite impressive what he manages to do. And um, yeah, he's kind of way ahead of, of, of most people doing this. Reported on the 6th of March 1943 and murdered in, in Auschwitz. And then Ralph Moratz. Okay, so they're probably a family, right? So there was a family that were living here. And then you see Ralph Moratz was actually only born in 1931. So born in 31, so he was a child when this was happening, and then you see Flucht. Flucht means escaped in yeah. German. So, oh my God, this kid, aged eight years old, escaped through France, Spain, Portugal, and he got to the US in 1941. And then you're thinking, maybe you know somebody who has an eight-year-old child, or you have a cousin or a relative who was eight yeah, years old. Maybe. Imagine them going on a two-year journey, fleeing from the Nazis, their whole family had been sent to Auschwitz, uh, and then they get to the United States, aged 10 years old. Uh, as a child refugee, like, that's insane. It doesn't take a long time to paint. So, um, they have two teams of artists that pretend to be passengers. One, pass one passenger group on the train, riding the actual subway, and the other group wait on the platform. Right? You know if there's like an emergency on the subway, you like pull down on the lever, and it, well, it does two things. It notifies the security teams and the driver that there's an emergency, Right, so that sucks. But the second thing it does is stops the train from being able to run. So, yeah, they have like a, a limited window of time, basically, uh, where the driver can't pull the train away, but the cops are coming. So the first team jump out of the trains. They pull the, they have their rucksacks or whatever. They pull their spray cans out. Like this. That's how I imagine it. It's not like that. Um, <laughs> you hold them together like this, and they just go floor to floor to ceiling like this all the way down. Um, this is the quickest way to get maximum coverage, basically. And then they have three or four other people that will have black or a different colour that will do the outlines. So they'll just have like a, a block of colour and then the other people will go over and, and make the lettering out of that, right? Um, so they're normally done in about 90 seconds. There's about 10, 15 of them sometimes. They're super slick. Um, it's pretty impressive. Some of you guys might be thinking, wow, that's awesome. Uh, I wish I could watch them doing that. Well, you can. Um, they film pretty much everything they do. So if you just YouTube them, one up crew Berlin, full train, you just type that in, it come, comes up with them painting uh, at um, Ostkreuz, which is a station just over. And it's really funny that the train driver comes out at one point to kind of look what's going on, peers down the carriage, sees what's going on and just kind of goes, okay. <laughs> I don't want to know what's going on here. I'm just going to ignore this. And then we just stay with the